Welcome to another installment of the AMSOIL Information Series. I'm Rob Stenberg. We're here in Daytona Beach, Florida for Daytona Bike Week 2010. You can hear these bikes roaring behind me. And you know with a lot of stop and go traffic, these engines are running very hot. And a motorcycle oil has to do more than just lubricate. It has to protect against rust, corrosion, it has to protect the gears. AMSOIL came out with the motorcycle oil white paper where we tested against 16 different SAE 50 oils and 14 different SAE 40 oils. Here's what we found out. We had to have a way to quantify all of the testing that we did. So what we did is we thought, you know what, everybody understands the game of golf and if you shoot the lowest score, you win. So that's how we decided to compare all of these oils. If you got first in a test, you were given one point. If you scored second in a test, you were given two points and so forth and so on. At that, we added up all the test results for all eight of these tests. And when the totals came out, here's Amsoil scoring a 30. The next closest competitor scored a 45. And you can see as we go up the line and we end up at some of the top ends, Amsoil outperformed some of these oils at a factor of more than four times the performance. That's what a motorcycle oil has to do. It has to perform well over a wide variety of tests. Anybody can look good in one test. Any oil can do that. So if you want an oil that's going to perform the best, it has to perform well over a wide range of different tests. For example, let's take the rust protection test. In this particular test, what happens is these steel plates are dipped into the product and then put into a humidity cabinet for 24 hours. As you can see here, the Amsoil MCV, the 20W50, absolutely no rust on that steel plate after 24 hours in that humidity cabinet. Take a look at this plate dipped in a competitor's product the Castro V-Twin product, and look at the amount of rust in 24 hours on that plate. If your bike sits idle for any length of time, this kind of rust can develop in your engine. So very, very easy to produce that kind of rust inside an engine. Another test is the viscosity shear stability test, and any oil is going to be affected through normal use as far as their shear stability. And as you can see on these two different graphs, we've got AMS oil with a straight line, and in this case, a straight line is very, very good. A lot of oils will shear right outside of their viscosity grades in a very short period of time. That means you have an oil in your engine that is too thin for the engine that you're running. You don't have the protection. What you have then in your bike is an oil that is not in the right viscosity range, which means that you don't get the protection you need. The gear performance test. Now, gear protection is provided both by the oil's viscosity and the chemical additive package within it. As you can see here, there are 13 different stages that an oil can go through, and that is the maximum number of stages that they test for. With AMS oil, zero wear. Total wear is zero millimeters, and in fact, you can already see on this picture the original machining marks of those gears. Here's a competitor. A lot of wear on those gears. It didn't make it all the way through to stage 13. That's where it failed. You don't have the protection you need in your bike. Motorcycle engines run hot, and when the oil is heated, the lighter fractions in the oil volatilize or evaporate. This leads to oil consumption, and the oil left behind in the engine is thicker and more difficult to pump. As a result, fuel economy and wear protection are sacrificed. As you can see on the graph, Amsoil 20W50 motorcycle oil resists volatility more effectively than the other oils tested. Amsoil 20W50's low volatility means reduced oil consumption and maximum fuel economy and wear protection. Well, we've given you just a small taste of all the information that's available in the Amsoil white paper. Take a look at it right here on the Amsoil website. From Daytona Beach, Florida, Daytona Bike Week, I'm Rob Stenberg. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.